Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today we are going to work on our concaved butcher tool. So we've worked, we've made a flat or square butcher tool. We've made a convexed butcher tool. Now we're going to make a concaved butcher tool. So basically a concaved is a concavity like this versus a convexed is like this. And so that's what we're going to work on today. We're going to make this a file this into a concave. Now, as in all of our other videos, we're going to set this in the vise at approximately a 60 degree angle. And we can always check that again with our square to just try to aim it to make sure it looks like it's pointing at about the reference point of what 60 degrees look like on the bevel here. It looks like it's mostly there, just a little up and we're good. And we're going to just tighten that vise right on down. Now, just like in the flat butcher tool and just like in the convexed butcher tool, now we can come across flat like this. And I'm gonna do it like this for just the camera angle so you can see it. It doesn't make a bunch of squeakies. We're gonna file this straight on down like you see here. Not You keep your file nice and flat and keep working it down until it gets down to that edge. But unlike the other butcher tool, like the convexed butcher tool, we're going to stop just shy here. Once it gets down real close to that edge, we're going to stop just shy of this being sharp. We don't want this to be sharp. So we want to just stop just shy, leaving roughly about a sixteenth of an inch right here at the edge, uh, untouched. Now I'm going to take this down a notch and grip it a little tighter. Still at the same angle, that's what we want. We want to be able to work flat to the plane or square with it. So now we're going to take a round file. I used just a standard flat file. You can get a mill file. This is just a flat bastard cut file. And it is a six inch file that we used. Now I'm going to switch to using this round file, rat tail file. Again, it is a bastard cut. And this just happens to be quarter inch here. This is a quarter inch in diameter file. And now we're going to go ahead and try to file straight across by digging into the tip first. And you want to aim for about center if you can. And if you can get it centered up, take your time with this. Give it a, give it a little time to get that tracking just right. That's the key. You want this to end up in the center. So give it some time and then slowly rock back to where you're horizontal in plane. And now you're creating your concaved butcher tool. Now if this was a larger concave butcher tool, you can use a larger diameter round file or you can even upgrade to a small, uh, a small width half round file, which is fairly nice file to use. Again, we want this to constantly stay at this flat 60 degree bevel still. You're not going to escape that. So just keep taking it down until you've got the full width taken care of at 60 degrees. And you got the makings of a sharp bevel. Now the ideal here is you want to keep this cut flat. You don't want to roll or rock back. You want to keep this cut running flat all the way across the plane. If you cut, if you cut a roll in it, you'll develop a little notch in here and that's not what we're wanting. We just want this to have this really nice flat look to it and be nice and even when we're filing this in. So now what you'll notice is these two ends are going to get real thin on you. And let me try to zoom you all up a little closer. Hopefully. Give me a second here, ladies and gents. Hopefully that's perfectly in focus there. So now I hopefully you all can see this very well. And what I'm trying to do, let me get it up against this backdrop here. So there you go. And excuse the birds. 
So now we have our concaved butcher tool, but these little sharp edges it just won't do. We need to take and alleviate those a little bit. So what we're gonna do, like in times prior, we're just gonna lock this in the vise, and we're just gonna file off the sharpness of those edges. We need to add a little more surface area there and take away some of that sharpness on those edges so this way when we go to into the quench those don't end up becoming prone to cracking or being brittle. At this same stage I'll take off a little off the bottom here to square that up and I'll go over the other side as well. So this is the type of stuff that this is why you want to use files for this type of work to get adjusted to what you have to do in order to make stuff like this work out for you. Uh, because you're not going to get this ground in on a belt sander. You have to use some file work at some point in your smithing career. So it's highly recommended that you practice this a little bit with a file. So all I've done is I've just radiused and I've took off all the sharp corners, so to speak, off of this. And then I'm going to come back in with the file, if I can, get this set back up straight, stop dropping it, excuse me, camera here, get this set back up straight, at that 60 degree bevel, and again, just wanting to go straight through it and keep working that down. The edges do not have to be sharp. You're not trying to cut anything with this. You're going to be working cold material and um, the ideal of it is they just need to be hardened. If they're hardened, they'll be all right. And we just want to round off, like I said, you just want to round those off so you don't get any galling and it'll be less prone to uh, breakage or cracking when you go into the, for the heat treat. Okay, so there we go. So now that's how you take and file your concaved butcher. Just like so. As you can see, it's not much concavity. You can go all sorts of different shapes and diameters uh, based upon whatever you're needing. But that's how you take and get that done. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, drop a like on that like button. Uh, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section down below. I always appreciate hearing from you. And as always, uh, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.